everybody, Patrick from One Shot Kill It Media here, and I wanted to go ahead and give a shout out to Peacekeeper Holsters. That's the concealed carry holster that I use. So let me go ahead and tell you a little bit more about it. Let's see here, go ahead and take it off my belt quick. So if you take a look here, this is the Peacekeeper holster. Now each, piece, uh, each Peacekeeper holster is different because each one is form fitted to that particular gun. Uh, Peacekeeper Holsters is located in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin, inside the MGS Firearms store. Uh, so it's right inside of MGS. So if you take a look here, you'll see that you know it's a Kydex holster. It's black Kydex. You can make them different colors and everything if you want. Brian Grabowski is the owner of Peacekeeper Holsters, and he's the guy who does all this work. Um, so you can see again, form fitted to each gun. He takes a lot of time and care in making sure that. Each and every corner and everything like that is sanded down so you don't have any rough edges that are you know, rubbing up against you or just being annoying in general. Um, you have some different options when it comes to clips and so on. I like just a regular clip here, a uh, thick plastic clip. The Kydex that he uses is a little thicker um, grade if you, if you pay a little bit more for it and that's what I wanted, so that's what I went with. All right, so like stated before, attention to detail is a huge thing for me for a concealed carry holster. And what I really like about this is the fact that Brian did pay attention to every detail. Um, he noticed, obviously, that I have a threaded barrel, so he built the holster around that. Um, I carry the, uh, the USP 45 CT, the compact tactical, that comes with a threaded barrel. And every other holster I've ever used, that barrel is, is sticking out the end there. It's just being annoying and rubbing into you the wrong place that you don't want it to. Uh, so I think Brian you know, did a kick-ass job making sure that he accounted for that threaded barrel. Uh, a couple other things to keep in mind here is he uses this clip, right, and that clip you can, you know, rotate it, do whatever you want with it, so that way you can actually cant the pistol if you want to, depending on where you're carrying it, what position. A um, couple other things to look at, he uses some nice hardware on the outside here, it's not just cheap shit, um, so it's going to hold up for you, um, even after rough use and regular use every single day. Um, and then let's go ahead and grab the gun here too so you can see a few other things. So. One of the main things I really liked is his forward-thinking ideas. Obviously, this gun has a threaded barrel. I have YHM suppressors that I can attach to this easily. But I don't have raised sights. What Brian did is he allowed enough space here for me to place an optic on the gun if I wanted to, and he also allowed enough room here to be able to allow me a raised sight um, for the front blade there. So he was really thinking ahead with this being that it's a tactical uh, HK tactical pistol where in most cases you are going to want to change to uh, higher sights or raised sights to account for that space over the suppressor. Um, other thing to look at here is we discussed this, um, I don't like to carry with my safety on, so we made sure that the Kydex was actually molded around the gun being in the safety off position. So really like that. Uh, a couple other things to keep in mind here is Brian did also allow room for me to be able to remove the magazine if I needed to, well holstered. So that's a nice feature. And you'll also see that there's no way for me to get into that trigger guard area. You know, that's completely covered, and that's a must for a concealed carry uh, holster. You know, you, you don't want to catch it on something random and shoot yourself in the leg. A lot of people have been dying from that lately, so you don't want that to happen. But overall, again, um, I'm just very impressed with the holster itself. Best one I've ever had or used, most comfortable I've ever used, and I've used quite a few different ones to, uh, you know, try and carry one of these beasts around. So, <laughs> uh, overall, again, uh, Brian at Peacekeeper Holsters, located in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin, does a great job, and I highly recommend anybody who's interested in a, uh, in a concealed carry holster talk with him and uh, see what he can do about building you a custom one that's going to meet every single need that you have. And, He's, he's done a lot of holsters, people, so uh, trust me, he can go ahead and, and pretty much customize to whatever you want or need. Um, you know, if you if you got an RMR on your gun, if you got raised sights, if you, you know, want access to be able to remove that magazine, you know, talk to Brian about it, and he will find a way to make you a holster that's going to do just about anything and everything you need. So again, Peacekeeper Holsters, check it out, everybody. He's got a website, Facebook, all that stuff's in the uh, description section and link below. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.